So I just watched the end of my last video to see where I left off, and um, I left off talking about Flea and her and I breaking up, and um, that is not what I want to talk about on YouTube. Um, we've been together way too long and had way too much of a serious relationship for me to post it on YouTube. Um, but pretty much getting back to my whole self-conscious issue keeps getting worse every day. Um, it's getting to the point where I used to wake up everyone's like every few days I'd get up and know that I was really uncomfortable but I was able to get get through the day get myself motivated and go to work or do whatever I'm doing for that day and come home and be fine um, now it's like every single day that I wake up it's I just can't I can't get up and be happy anymore um, like I said, Flea and I breaking up doesn't help that situation at all, but I know that if I could just get my head on straight and if I could just start my transition, like for real start it and not just fucking paint on sideburns and like taper down my boobs and pretend that I'm not a girl on the outside. I guess I would probably have a lot easier time being with her, but, and I'm pretty sure I would not be half as self-conscious as I am right now, I can tell you that much. I truly just need to not be in the position that I'm in right now. Um, I'm really scared to tell my parents. Um, I've decided that I'm not gonna let them I'm not gonna tell them anything about it unless they ask me um, and the day that I do tell them about it is gonna be after I've been through all of my therapy and the day that I can get my prescription for tea will be the day that I talk to my parents about it and actually come out and say something to them um, I just feel like that's going to be the best way to go about it because at that point I'll be like so excited and ready to do it that nothing that they're going to say is even going to remotely make me feel bad about doing it. Um, my parents just have a way with words. I mean, a way with emotions, a way with feelings, a way with actions. They can just, they're so manipulating when it comes down to it because they want they brought me up my entire life saying you're a girl, you're a girl, you're not a little boy and dude if I knew what fuck you meant when I was four years old I would have, I'm would. i pretty sure I probably would have told them um, so I've decided that I'm not gonna actually come out and tell them about it until I'm through therapy and I'm dying to go to therapy but I can't um, health insurance reasons I'm waiting for my work to send me my stupid insurance packet information, but I work for a corporation, and it's not my restaurant that's being pieces of shits about it, and is being complicated about it. It's the corporation in itself. Um, I hate him. I worked for them last year, and went through a whole process of getting health insurance and then quit two weeks I actually got it after I actually got it so now I'm going through the whole process of getting it again and I want to quit but I'm not gonna um, I can't afford it I can't I don't want to work anywhere else as much as I hate it I love it at the same time I guess um, but a lot of people there have become practically like family to me um, I actually, I don't even really hang out with any of them outside of work, but while I'm there, I know between my kitchen manager and my general manager, out of any job that I've ever had, they're usually the people that I'm most intimidated by, and I won't even think to say one word to them, but um, 
in this restaurant, I just, I feel like I can tell them anything, and it's great. Like, they just, they're all ears all the time. Um, as much as they don't understand what I'm going through, they're very, very, very supportive about it. And, um, they just, they wish I didn't take it in with me to work, but at the same time, if I didn't, then I would be more miserable at work than I am already. Like, I'm in, when I go to work, I just am so, I'm so pissed off all the time. Can't even stand being there just because, I don't know. I actually don't even know why. I just think I'm, I think it's just because it's a very high stress level job and I already have enough stress going on outside of work that I can't help but bring my personal stress level into work with me because it's just always constantly, constantly running through my mind and I have to think so fast when I'm working that I can't just stop thinking about my personal problems and it flusters me and I get all discombobulated while I'm cooking and I don't know what I'm doing and, but somehow I manage to keep on trucking, but... I mean, it's very stressful. I'd need time off, like, soon. Um, and I don't mean, like, two days here and there, but I need, like, a good week off. Some way, shape, or form, I'm gonna have to find a way to afford it, because I can't. I need to take a break. I need to have a week where I just sit and work on me and think about shit, and the fact that I work with Fleet is not easy. Um... I think that would help out a lot if instead of living and working and going to school and hanging out with all the same people with her, I'd at least be able to only be at home and go to school with her because we've been going off and hanging out with our own people lately and it sucks. Don't get me wrong. I get like I get all excited about going out with my friends and I feel bad that she's sitting here by herself, but at the same time, I want to go out with my friends and then when I'm in the position that I'm in, like right now, where I'm sitting here by myself and kind of don't really know what to do, she's out with her friends and I feel like a piece of shit. So it's a lose-lose situation, I guess, um, for the both of us. And I don't know. I, can't, I, think, I think just my stress level in itself is making me as self-conscious as I am. Every time I look at myself in the mirror... I just want to practically shoot myself in the face, I guess you could say. Um, the fact that I spend a good half an hour at least in front of the mirror after all, every shower that I take just to try and put on sideburns so I can somewhat pass as a male um, is wicked irritating. Um, I don't even know why I'm ranting to you guys about this, because half you people out there probably aren't even going to watch it. Um, or if you watch it, you probably won't comment on it and help me out. But if you do, it'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, it's 522. I gotta go to school. Um, it's the first day of class, and I don't want to be wicked late, because I'm already going to be late. Because I'm a procrastinator, as Ellen DeGeneres says. Procrastinate now, don't put it off. Later.